Hello guys. Today we are going to discuss one of the very important topic, the lithium ion battery and a substance lithium. Why it is very important and being talked about everywhere, and how it is changing the economies of various industries as well as the geopolitics. So let's discuss what lithium is. So as you have heard in your class ninth or class tenth, that lithium is a chemical element with a symbol Li. So it was discovered by a Swedish chemist in the year 1817, and no one had thought at that point of time that this lithium might become what oil was in 1960s or 1980s. So lithium is a new energy product that might change the entire energy sector. Coming to the usage of lithium, where it is currently used, it is basically used in uh, DSLR batteries. It is used in mobile batteries and also one of the most interesting thing that is happening in the automobile sector is the electric batteries that will be made by using lithium ion so these are one of some of the important usages and most of the demand that is coming globally is from the electric vehicle segment for lithium let's discuss where is most of the lithium is located globally where is the supply chains of the lithium located where it comes from so there are a lot of countries but one of the most interesting thing in the south american geography is the most of the lithium come is is found in south america and it comes from countries like bolivia chile argentina so it is also called as the lithium triangle and also countries like australia china do have lithium but the amount of reserves Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina. These South American countries have is highest. But we need to also check how much amount of uh, reserves country has and what is the production capacity. In production capacity, Australia, Chile, and China produce 90% of the lithium. So there might be countries that might have higher reserve, but their production is currently lower. Argentina is the fourth largest lithium producing country with 5.6% market share. And Brazil ranks fifth with 1.4% of global lithium mining share. So this shows that where our lithium supply chains are located. Let's move on. We need to check where does the lithium demand is coming from. Where why there is a sudden surge in the demand of lithium? As there has been a lot of talks about sustainability, and we are trying to change the transportation from moving from diesel and petrol vehicles to vehicles that are that will be run on electricity and these electricity will basically help us charge the lithium batteries and that will drive the ev revolution electric vehicle revolution so most of the electric demand most of the ev demand will be generating the lithium demand and in the next 10 years highest demand will be coming from electric vehicles as you can see from the graph the electrical vehicle sending lithium demand into overdrive from others like mobile phone batteries dslr cameras batteries and x number of things that lithium is required for but the most of the demand will be coming from electric vehicles now you must have always heard about tesla and only companies when you talk about evs people come in the mind is tesla but there are companies in china that are very much active in basically securing the supplies of lithium and some of the Chinese company that are basically dominating this market is Ganfeng, Shouzhou, BYD. BYD is a global battery and electric vehicle manufacturer, which overtook Tesla in terms of the global EV sales and have taken all stop steps to acquire lithium mining rights in South America and Africa. So China is also a very dominant player in this market and they are trying to secure the supply chain lines across globe within the china and across globally they are trying to increase their footprint and the private companies of china are driving this surge now when we today if we talk about politics then most of the politics revolve in energy sector revolves around the uh, crude oil politics but going forward there might be a new politics that might be emerging it might be because of the way energy is being seen because might be in future lithium might become the new oil so it might be possible that argentina bolivia and chile 
can discuss and there is a possibility of creating a OPEC type scenario. OPEC is basically oil producing exporting countries. So they decide the prices of oil. So might be possible tomorrow or four or five years down the line, Argentina, Bolivia, Chile takes the shot and decide what will be the prices of the oil, to, uh, sorry, prices of the lithium. Also Bolivian government, there was news that Bolivian government wants to nationalize resources. Most of the government wants to nationalize because they want to control the entire supply chains and they do not want the, their private companies to come in and they want to control the entire decision making and that gives you an upper edge in the global politics. That's why might be going forward, these countries might nationalize this particular industry. It has not been done till now, but no one knows what how the global politics might change. And also countries that have lithium will have a major power in geopolitics as we see in case of Middle East right now in oil politics, there's a lot of involvement of OPEC countries and Middle East countries might be going forward. South American countries might be a lot involved in the energy politics. And now coming to example of how countries are trying to secure the supplies of lithium. Germany signed a deal with Bolivia that would see it extract 40,000 tons of lithium hydroxide till 2092. So you can see how far the countries are thinking into for next 60 years they are trying to make their supply chain secure by signing deals with government of Bolivia. For example, one company Volkswagen has signed a deal with Genfeng lithium company in China to lock in supply for the next decade. So this is how the private sector and the government sector is emerging in the lithium uh, lithium sector and how it is going to change the geopolitics. Now moving on, let's talk about, we see, we always think that lithium batteries are very secure in terms of the environmental impact they have. They are very clean and everything, but the reality is little bit different. And as of now, their processes that are being used to extract lithium are not very clean, might be going forward. There might be more environmental friendly processes. But currently, one fact that I was reading is to extract one ton of lithium, you need approximately, I would say, five lakh gallons of water. So that is a huge amount. And in these countries, it might create a water stress or water shortage. It also produces a lot of mining waste while you do mining for lithium and that might impact the environment also plus there are a huge amount of water consumption that takes place plus when we talk about electric vehicles as of now these electric vehicle batteries will be being charged from uh, electricity that is generated from coal power plant for example in case of india most of our electricity generation takes place from coal so how these batteries are not creating a impact in terms of CO2 emission because ultimately when your battery is getting charged from uh, from a particular source that is generated from coal. So ultimately you are creating emission not within the city but where the coal power plant is located. So until unless the entire end to end grid of energy production is clean, it might be very tough to say that lithium ion batteries might reduce the carbon emission. So Today that's from my side. I hope you like this topic. Have a good day.